Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share some books with you for celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day. We are headed into October, which I mentioned last week is my favorite month of the year. And the second Monday of October is celebrated as Indigenous Peoples Day. It's a day to bring acknowledgement to the Native population to commemorate their history and their culture. And picture books are a wonderful way to do this in your classroom. So today I have seven books to celebrate this holiday, but to also keep in your classroom library and be sharing throughout the year as well. Let's jump into them. The first book that I have is Josie Dances. This book not only showcases an interconnected family, but community support as well. And this coming of age story shares the traditions in the Ojibwe culture. And one thing I thought was neat about this book is there is back matter at the end of the story, as well as pronunciations and explanations of the Ojibwe words. So your students will learn a lot from this book, Josie Dances. The next book that I have for Indigenous Peoples Day is Sharice's Big Voice. This is an autobiographical picture book in which we learn the events in Sharice's life that led her to becoming a congresswoman. And not only a congresswoman, but one of the first Native American women in Congress. She shares with us her advice about how everyone's path is different, but it's important to follow your own path. And that there may be obstacles in your way, but that you can achieve great things if you set your mind to it. And this story also includes some wonderful additional information about the Ho-Chunk Nation at the end of the story. So again, your students will learn a lot and will definitely be inspired by this book. This next book is by the same author illustrator of Alma and how she got her name. This one is Zonia's Rainforest. It tells us a story of a young girl's day of play and her adventures in the lust rainforest of Peru. Her home is in the rainforest and every morning when she gets up, the rainforest calls to her and she responds by visiting with the sloth family or running with the jaguars. But one morning, it calls to her in a troubled voice and she is wondering how she is going to answer. This engaging text really emphasizes Zonia's bond with the rainforest and not only shares information on her culture, but on the power of the rainforest and what we need to do to help take care of it. And the back matter gives a translation of this story in Ashaninka and gives information on the Ashaninka community and also provides some rainforest resources for your students to explore. A beautiful book to share for Indigenous Peoples Day. The next book that I have is a follow-up to the book We Are Grateful, which I have shared in a previous video. This one is called We Are Still Here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know. In this story, 12 Native American children present historical and contemporary laws, policies, struggles, and victories in Native American life. Too often, Native American history is seen as a finished chapter, but as this story points out, we are still here. This book also provides additional information, timelines, and a glossary of terms, all the things that were discussed throughout this book so that your students can do further research into everything that was shared by these children. We Are Still Here is a powerful and important book to share with your students. Next up, we have We Are Kind. This picture book celebrates simple acts of everyday kindness and it encourages kids to explore how they feel when they initiate or are the recipient of an act of kindness. So even though it's simple, I think students can really dig deep into this book and help them make changes in their day and how they can be kinder towards others. It's simple, but it's beautiful and impactful as well. And this book would fit in well with all of the books that I shared in my video about being kind. I'll leave a link to that right here as well as in the description box down below. The next book that I have for Indigenous Peoples Day is Bow Wow Pow Wow. This is a celebration of powwow traditions seen through the eyes of a young Ojibwe girl. It's really a lovely introduction to the different elements of a powwow. And it celebrates the history of Ojibwe song and dance, both past and present. And to go along with Bow Wow Pow Wow, I have a, another book about powwows. This one is called Jingle Dancer. Jenna loves the tradition of jingle dancing, which is shared by generations of women in her family. And she really hopes to dance at the next powwow, but how will her dress sing if there are no jingles on it? 
The lyrical texts share the affirming story of how a contemporary Native American girl turns to her family and her community to help her find her voice. Another wonderful read aloud to share this month with your students. And I also have a quick few other books to share with you for Indigenous Peoples Day. These books I've shared before, so I'm gonna just give you a quick overview of each one and the video that you can find them in if you are looking for more information about each one. So recently in my fall books video, I shared This Is How I Know, which is about a young girl and her grandmother and how they are exploring the changing of the seasons. In my video all about books to share for Thanksgiving, I shared the book Fry Bread, as well as We Are Grateful. So check out my Thanksgiving books video where I go into depth on both of these books. They are great read alouds for your classroom. And last year in my best of 2020 book releases, I shared We Are Water Protectors, another amazing book to share in your classroom, not only for Indigenous Peoples Day, but for any time throughout the year. All of these books are wonderful stories to share with your classroom, and I think they will start some powerful discussions with your students. And I really encourage you to incorporate more Own Voices books, not only in your read-alouds, but in your classroom library as well. So I hope that you'll get to share some of these read-alouds with your class for Indigenous Peoples Day. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below, because I'll be back next week with more read aloud tips and book ideas for you to share in your classroom. Have a great week.